Hey guys, it's Jen and I am super excited to kick off our 21 day fix getting back on track challenge group and tomorrow is the day. Can you believe it? I want to make sure that for all you guys that ordered your challenge packs that you have them. So please post below if you actually have your 21 day fix in hand and your Shakeology. Um, please read through the eating plan guide. It's really helpful. I read it cover to cover. I would probably do that again and I refer to it all the time. Um, first thing you'll need to do is figure out what calorie bracket you're going to be in. Um, I imagine most of us are going to be probably in the same calorie bracket um, or pretty close to it because that is going to tell you right away the number of containers you'll be eating each day. So figure that out first. That's step number one. Once you're done with that, I suggest um, taking a look at how many containers you're allowed to eat per color per day and writing that down. Or I had suggested getting the 21 Day Fix Tally app which I bought on my iPhone. It's $1.99, but it's really useful because then you'll always have it at your fingertips. And every time you have a container or a meal with certain containers, you just, you know, check that off on your tally. Um, it also gives you, um, you cannot get to start the tallying until you put in your me measurements and weight um, and your gender type. So it forces us to do that, which I hope you guys have done that by now. Otherwise, do it tonight or by first thing tomorrow morning. Um, you always want to take your pictures and measurements the same time of day to keep the consistency because our bodies obviously are empty and lighter in the morning than they are at night. And so if you're going to do it in the night, that's fine, but just keep it consistent. If you're going to do it in the morning, then do it tomorrow morning if you haven't already done that to keep track. Um, if you don't have the app or if you don't have access to a smartphone, I do have these Excel trackers that I created myself and it's a great way to and I have these for every calorie bracket it's a great way to plan out your meals throughout throughout the day and then just to keep track of them that way and I keep these in my kitchen um, counter and then what I do is I um, you know mark down my meals kind of along the edge and like what I had for the day like if I have a wrap in the morning um, with, um, and meal number two is fruit, meal number three is salad with protein, meal number four is a snack, usually a, a veggie with um, hummus or just veggies plain, meal number five is a meat sweet potato, meal number six is my Shakeology before bed um, with some nuts and that is very satisfying. So if you want, consider shaving, saving your Shakeology for um, for your last meal because it'll keep you satisfied and kind of take away the cravings. You know, Shakeology is designed to help curb curb your cravings. Um, so if you're struggling with that, and this is obviously, you know, a change, um, use your Shakeology. It came in the challenge pack. It counts as a red container and, um, you know, suck it down and have it. It will help you feel full you can use it as one of your meals and um and it will help with the with the, the cravings that you're going to be um you know we all get cravings and when i started this last week i actually started a few days ahead of time um it was at that time of the month for me and the cravings i'm like why did i choose this time to start but shakeology does definitely does help especially the chocolate one i love the chocolate so um you're going to be wanting to drink a lot of water it's good for you it will definitely help your progress so keep up with the water intake um, write get a little notebook write down your meals for the week if you have any questions on what your meals fall into what category let me know or post it on the page and I'll help you with that you really want to stay away from packaged foods and meals because they're full of sodium they're hard to break down into the containers you really want to just pick up and eat like whole foods, raw foods that you're going to be cooking. And you can use lots of spices and make them plenty of flavor. Um, when it comes to exercise, here's what I think. We're trying to create new healthy habits here. I have a goal to exercise every day during the next 21 days with a minimum 
being 20 minutes a day. And you guys can handle that. I challenge you to do that. It'll get you in the rhythm. If you feel like you have a super busy day and you can't fit in a workout, then please, 20 minutes, set your timer, do some jumping jacks, do some sit-ups, do some push-ups, do some squats, fill in the 20 minutes. 20 minutes goes by like that. 20 minutes a day is your minimum, guys. Otherwise, pull out your 21 day fix videos. That's 30 minutes. Those are really hard, really challenging and get those done. But um, I hope to see you guys post in the page every day. Keep each other motivated. I will do the same thing. I will share some of my meals with you. You don't have to share everything, especially if you repeat meals, which is what I do a lot. I tend to make a lot of chicken and a lot of veggies in advance and a lot of the fruit cut up and I just repeat it just because it's simple and easy. So if you're doing that, don't feel like you have to share every single day. But, um, you know, if you have a great snack or meal idea, then share it. And um, those that have not ordered the challenge pack, what we can do is if you're interested in this, we can repeat in three weeks. We'll be starting round two. I'm sure plenty of the ladies are going to want to keep going. I know I will. So I will get you involved if you have not yet, yet gotten your 21 day fix. We can, we can work on that. No problem. So just reach out to me and message me with that. But Good luck to everybody, and I can't wait to start with you and see our 21-day results in 21 days from now. Take care. Bye.